Make sure everything's going before. <sighs> okay. I don't think I'm missing anything else. I'm really nervous. Because <laughs> every time I do something to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> everything's plugged in. Everything's ready and ready to go. Hopefully my Recording. podcast recorder sounds good because my yeah. headphones that I plug into the podcast recorder, like they hate each other. Like it starts blaring, oh, wow. so... Oh, good. I look like these are thirteen dollars headphones. <laughs> Every time they're like, they're like airplane <laughs> headphones you get. <laughs> Every time I see you, I go to give you and just leave the other headphones that I bring there, and then I always no. forget every time. So I'm like, just use no. these. No, listen, these work. Don't fix what's not broken. That's true. <laughs> that is true. But hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Bookmarked with Sarah and Des. I'm Destiny. Hi, guys. I'm Sarah. And we're Destiny and Sarah. So, welcome and we're back, everybody. Bookmarked. Yeah, so it's bookmarked. We're putting a bookmark in your day. Let's see what's going on, what we've been up to. Um, let's catch up. Yeah, let's catch up. So, uh, I feel like we haven't caught up yeah, no. since last time, you, since you were here. I know. I've been, we've been two busy gals. Yeah, I've been seeing you. You've been a concert girly, and I can't <laughs> wait to hear about that before we mm-hmm. get into oh, that. I'm so excited to tell you. What are you drinking it. today? Do you have a drink? Today? Not only is it watered down, it's also from Duncan. That's like a double criminal offense in my a double whammy. <laughs> I got, I've been, so it feels like fall here. And as soon as it feels like fall, I get the pumpkin <sighs> from Duncan. And only Duncan though. I don't know why it's like, a, I feel like it's an East Coast fall thing. I'm so jealous me, that it feels like fall. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a little hot out, but like in my head, I've like switched modes because I haven't been like doing summery things. So I've. It's over to fall in my head. It's a hundred degrees here. Like I can't romanticize really? it even if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the leaves are like they'll change soon. I feel it like coming. But I just got a pumpkin spice latte. But they put I didn't know that they have like um like if you just get the regular one, they put whipped cream on top. And the other day when I got it, it was li- with the dome lid yeah. and the whipped cream. I was like, this is a little too much. That's right the now. worst. I got a ice white mocha the other day with my mom. And I, she forgot to, like, say vanilla cold foam. And so I got it, mm-hmm. and it had the dome lid. And I was like, Ugh. I literally was, like, being so dramatic. Yeah. But I was just like, Ugh, I don't want to drink it now. My mom's like, just scoop it off. And just I said, no, it's the <laughs> lid. It's the lid, too. Yeah. And that's when I went on to my rant on my Instagram story. This was, like, a few weeks ago. And I was like, I miss the 2014, 2015 when Starbucks had straw lids. Like, you could actually put a yeah. straw through it. I miss it. I know. And I remember I was going to have a fun drink. And I had. I think it was before you came we didn't do one week's episode but i got a drink for that episode and i was so excited to drink it and it was literally just like an honorable palmer but like in a can and i was excited to open it up on here because you open up your canned <laughs> drinks and it, it was in my fridge every single week since then and the other day chris kept asking me why i'm not drinking it. i was like i'm saving it for bookmark but then the other day we were like we kind of want like some juice and i was like fine we can open the arnold palmer what is an arnold palmer i don't know what that is oh you don't know what arnold palmer is Mm-mm. really um it's just iced tea and lemonade in a drink i think there is like um a golfer like created it i think maybe that was his name or something he's like on the can i'll get it for another episode i have no clue what that is but that sounds like sweet tea and lemonade or like iced tea and i have no idea i think it's iced tea and lemonade it's really good and i got it from a little store like there's a little you know where the bagel store is near me (laughs) (laughs) you know that little strip I got it from one of the little convenience stores in there, and the other day I drove by, and there was like a, a an amb- not an ambulance, like a fire truck outside. Someone drove into it. <laughs> okay, that that is not where I expected that story to go. <laughs> Did you see all over TikTok? Um, I saw it, and it had like millions of likes. I think it had like three million likes. Where this cop was trying to pull this guy in a black truck over and the, there's like i think it was in atlanta and there's like a bunch of people in the street and the guy runs somebody over what i saw that yes, last night he runs somebody over and then the cop like yeah. does a um frick i forgot he hops what it's over called. The, the it's called the, a pit the maneuver hood. it's called a pit maneuver and the cop hits his car and just jerks him out through the window yeah that was crazy and like arrests him and i was like this guy didn't like this is not gta like that that yeah. genuinely felt the like fr- gta the first time i saw it i didn't see him hit the guy and then i watched it a second time he flew oh my god that was a crazy video the ever. more you watch that video if you guys find the video or if you guys have seen it if you go back and watch it you, there's more things to look at I, I mean i watched it 15 times at least like i was yeah. just like what the heck is going on but um, there's a lot going on yeah like, what are you drinking what's your dope um i got a i rewarded myself with a coffee today because 
I had to go and ship a package. I got a ice white mocha, but I got only like two pumps of the white mocha in it and I've got extra ice in it. So I was like, I don't know. Nice. It tastes more coffee today. I've been trying to like get the, you know, cause like at Starbucks, I don't know how it is at Duncan. I'm not a Duncan <laughs> connoisseur, but uh, at Starbucks, they put like four pumps of the white mocha in a grande and like the white mocha is super thick. So I was like, I'm just going to put two. I feel like I don't yeah, need four. I feel four. like Duncan, the mediums are like bigger than the grande. So I feel like it would be safe yeah. in the, the Duncan. Tomorrow though is the um, I know. fall drinks at Starbucks. I'm getting that pumpkin cream cold brew. I, I'm getting it. See, I, I just think cold brew is so like the taste of it is just not good. Put it on your, put it on the latte. Yeah. Put it on a little ice latte. I want to try the chai with the pumpkin gold foam because, like, all the girlies love that during the fall. They, like, love to get the chai with the pumpkin yeah. gold foam. Or, I like um, chai. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's a bunch of fall drinks coming out. I don't know. And we're going to try them together one day. Yeah, we are. When I come down in October for, or maybe we'll do it on the pod, and that will be our end of the episode fun thing. Is that we're trying that the fall so drinks. Cute. Yeah, we'll do that then. You guys can look forward to that well, in October. Fall theme. Yes. In October. Yeah. In a few weeks. Yeah, in a few weeks, well, genuinely. Ugh. A little bit over a month. I just realized how much I say genuinely. Well, one, a lot of people <laughs> comment it. Yes, guys, I understand I say it a lot. But now I'm, like, so hyper aware of it when I say it. But I feel like when I say it, I'm trying to be, like, express that. Like, it's, I feel like it's usually when I'm expressing excitement over something or, like, the importance of something. You say <sighs> that. I feel like everyone has a word. I say literally or legit <laughs> probably too much. It's just one of those words that come out of my mouth. Or I notice that, and I feel like this is something you notice, well, if you watch somebody a lot, or like with us, for example, like when you edit so many hours of footage of yourself. Yeah. I also, if somebody, if I'm talking to somebody, I'll go, listen, listen. But it's because I'm so used to like, as a kid, I feel like I would talk so much and my family would like not pay attention to me and I'd go, listen, if I wanted them to like, <laughs> he really hear what I was saying. So I say that a lot too. I'll say, genuinely, yeah. and I'll be like, listen, even, no, it's not even. I actually, like yeah, you saying that, I feel like I, I hear you say it. Yeah. I'll go, no, listen, listen. Because, and I even say yeah. it by myself though too. Like I thought I only did it when I was talking to other people. No, I say it. If I'm in my room, <laughs> look at my camera. I'm like, guys, listen, like you guys aren't paying attention. Like, listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like an actual, eyes on me yeah. one two three hey i just start doing that in videos hey eyes on me one two three clap okay clap if, <laughs> clap you, if you hear me yeah. and then, uh, you should start doing that be interactive <laughs> why would that be fun no. <laughs> i already said in uh i think it was my was it my tbr i was like ew i'm I like not like ew because you're a teacher but like i was like i feel like i'm like a teacher right now like talking to you guys this feels like like me being a a teacher like in class yeah and I was like actually fun fact when I wanted to go to college I wanted to go into either publishing or I wanted to be a high school like English literature teacher that's what I wanted to do really oh, I didn't know that could you imagine me and teaching high schoolers I think I'd get eight alive I think I would actually get eight alive like those kids are yeah. so ruthless I think I would actually quit the first month in I'd give myself a month <laughs> then I'd be done I don't even know what I wanted to do. I had I had no really um no like dream job, I feel like. You graduated, Bestie. What it tell tell everybody what you graduated <laughs> with. I did graduate. I have a marketing <laughs> marketing major. I was gonna do like social media marketing for like companies I like interned with them. But I never had like a when I was little I wanted to be a teacher though. I feel like every little girl like has a little class yeah. in their room. I begged my mom for a whiteboard. Always one of those, but didn't actually want to be a teacher, I don't think. A uh, career that I um really romanticized as a kid was like retail like I had this like Bratz computer and I would act like I was like scanning stuff and checking people out and like typing stuff on my laptop like uh -huh. I really wanted to work in retail and then you know yeah. I beat or like you had like a little a little plastic oh um, yeah register register mm -hmm. oh those were the best oh, yeah. and, like plastic money yeah oh I miss those little toys I those know. are fun <laughs> I'm like I wish I could you don't see them out. anymore N no I think my niece Toys R Us is gone. Yeah, my niece. Well, Amazon, Target, Walmart, all of that yeah. stuff. Because my niece has a little, uh, like, it literally has the like belt to scan stuff, and she has the register. Uh -huh. And one day yeah. she made her mom, uh, like, sit at the counter thing with her, and was like, "I'm Des." in a pink shirt because <laughs> I was wearing a pink shirt that day. She goes, "And we're at Barnes, and you're the Barnes lady." 
and she had, yeah that's like what she does so that is so cute i know there are little stuff like that but it's not the same like i had a spongebob cash mm-hmm. register i had a dora cash register like i had they don't mm-hmm. make toys like that anymore truly no no it's a different time it was a different time <laughs> okay mariah <laughs> we're really i can't we're really like the unfiltered podcast but do you want to tell us sarah how you've been a little concert goer gal i have i have no more to look forward to though which is a little sad i'll find one actually i'll tell you after i tell you my stories i do have one but i'll tell you after um where did i go oh jonas brothers was the first one yeah. i went it was like right after you left me i think a couple days later i went to jonas brothers yeah um funny story after i tell you about the concert it was at yankee stadium which i've never been to a concert at like a baseball field usually they're at football stadiums or whatever so and i didn't know well i knew that it was like um almost like an eras tour for the Jonas brothers like they sang songs from all five of their albums oh, and it was okay. long like the eras tour like it was four hours it was really long we left early it was that long but i think that it wasn't my favorite and jonas brother fans don't come for me i think the jonas brothers for me is just nostalgic like camp rock jonas brothers growing up that's why i wanted to see them um and it was just a little too long and i feel like the the stage at the jonas brothers was like i couldn't really see them and we had great seats but they were like so little and like i didn't really know that many songs because i'm not like the biggest jonas brothers fan i knew like their popular ones and the ones from the olden times but they sang like a lot of songs i didn't Um, even know they had that many songs i'm gonna be so honest with you like me neither i went with chris's cousin her friend and lauren and lauren grew up with jonas brothers so she knew all the songs so like i was very excited for her but i didn't really know that many but it was fun it was so hot out though because it was stadium we were outside it was dying and then they had an intermission which i've never seen like an intermission in like a concert but it was that long like taylor swift though doesn't take intermissions because she's like a queen yeah um but there was an intermission and during the intermission jimmy fallon i was gonna came on ask stage. about this I was gonna ask. that was the best part of the concert he sang mr brightside that's all he did he came out he was like we're gonna do a little karaoke section he started singing mr brightside and then he left and the jones brothers came back out um but we left early it was like really like laid back at least for me because usually for concerts i'm like ready to see the whole set but this one i was like i could walk around and go get merch i can go to the bath it was very chill um but it was really fun and we left a little early because they sang their last album i think they went in order or something but yeah it was so late and we had to drive all the way home from the bronx so we left a little early but it was fun it wasn't my favorite concert but i mean it's jonas brothers um and before we went to the concert there's like a little bar outside because we were early and they were just playing jonas brothers songs harry Styles songs like camp rock songs and it was so fun it was just all girlies in a bar it was really fun um but my funny story about this is my dad he wasn't going to tell me, but before we went to the concert, it's like Yankee Stadium has the Hard Rock next to it, which is kind of like a restaurant, whatever. And my dad's friend works there, so he texted me. He was like, my friend Rob is working at Hard Rock. If you guys need, like, food or anything, you can go, like, say, like, uh, your daughter or whatever. And I was like, okay. And my dad, while at the show, was at a, co- a comedy show in Florida, and so he couldn't go on his phone or anything. So I was FaceTiming him during Mr. Bright's because that's, like, our song, but he didn't answer. So I was like, hey, that's weird, but he couldn't go on his phone during the comedy show. So after the concert, a few days later, I FaceTimed him and I had my Jonas Brothers shirt on. I got I got the merch. It's really cute. And he was like, I wasn't going to tell you this, but during the concert, Rob called me and I couldn't answer. So he called him back the day after. And Rob told my dad that the Jonas Brothers rented out all of Hard Rock. And he said after the show, the girls could have came to Hard Rock, met the Jonas Brothers and the family. And he said he wasn't going to tell me because he felt so bad. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. Can you imagine? If you would have just, like, posted up with Joe Jonas, no, I can't imagine. Literally like, at It's all. just such a missed opportunity. And I told him, I was like, I'm really hoping more artists start playing at Yankee Stadium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I can do that again. But he told me that, and I was, like, really upset. I was like, what an opportunity that would have been. Me and my shirt that says, I heart Joe. Have you ever been seen crazy. the, um video of britney broski meeting joe and she's like because she like no. loves the jonas brothers yeah there's like a video and she's meeting because when they just their newest album that they released they did like a, a small like a group of influencers got to like go to their like release party oh yeah i saw they were doing that yeah and she got invited because she talks about the jonas brothers and she like goes up to joe and she's like says so, i forget what she said but it was funny and joe was like yeah Brittany, like i know you like my wife like sees your stuff and basically like sees what you post around me and Brittany oh. was like oh my gosh like because he was basically Wait, saying, that's like, crazy yeah he was saying like sophie like loves Brittany, would have like loved to see Brittany, and i was like oh. and then imagine that's if crazy. he would imagine if sarah would have been like hey joe like sarah and he's like sarah i know who you are <laughs> 
don't feed into my so if you watches your book videos could you imagine <laughs> the queen of game of thrones watches your book videos <laughs> <laughs> that would have been crazy no but i'm i'm like hoping that harry does a stadium tour his next tour and goes to yankee stadium i know he'll go to metlife if he does a stadium tour but his next tour in 2040 yeah <laughs> It's too far away. I don't know when he's coming back, and I'm spiraling. Is he anyway. still? Um, it, is he still doing his European leg of the tour, or is he done completely now? No, it's it's done. He's on his break. Oh yeah, I saw him yeah. with um, what's her face? Uh, I don't know the girl that I told Sarah a few months ago that he was talking to, and Sarah was like, "No, that's not her." I was like, "Oh okay," <laughs> <laughs> and it is her. It's very. I much convinced her. myself it wasn't her. It's literally on the name. podcast episode. It's the elon hildebrand uh, ellen sorry ellen hildebrand episode and i looked i said oh yeah isn't he dating like i think her name's taylor and um yeah sarah was like no and i was like oh okay yeah, there were there were more pictures of them yeah and it was they're now the more pictures of them seen together being a little flirty but haven't seen anything else being being a little flirty is what sarah calls them at a party together harry holding (laughs) her drink and then like cuddling (laughs) in public (laughs) I don't care. And Sarah's like, them just being a little flirty. Like, Sarah, <laughs> we get it. We yeah, get it. and there were pictures that came out um, literally right after his break started. He was, like, on a boat or something, and he has a tattoo on his, like, upper thigh, and it says Olivia, and we haven't seen that one yet, so that's there. I just don't feel like that relationship was real, if you guys want my opinion. <laughs> what a time. Um, but, yeah, the concert was really fun. It was a time, you know, seeing the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, I, I feel really like fun. that's a concert, like, you know, like, the heiress who were or like when you went to the harry styles concerts like you genuinely love an artist so you're almost like on edge because you don't want to miss a single moment but i feel like with concerts like that it's like like you said it's probably more laid back like you can just kind of vibe and enjoy your time and like hang out more yeah. than be worried about like the artist in a way yeah it was fun it was just really really long and i'm just not like the biggest Jonas brothers fan so it was just like it felt long um but then two days ago did i see did i see five seconds summer yesterday um, no two days ago yesterday would be uh tuesday so did you see a monday or tuesday i saw the monday yeah it was monday okay pushing harry styles aside from this opinion five seconds of summer concerts are the best concerts i've ever gone to and i feel like i have some credibility here i go to a lot five seconds of summer have the best concerts it was so much fun they are my favorite and me and my friend Kay have been going to all of their tours since seeing them like opening for one direction like we're just we've been obsessed with them forever And they still play, like, old songs. It's, like, the best. They have, like, a mix of all of it. And so we went, and it was at Madison Square Garden. And they do this thing. Well, so since seeing them for so long, their old tours, they sing, obviously, their old songs. And one of my favorite songs is Voodoo Doll. Literally my favorite song that they've ever came out with. And they do this thing during their their concert. And they have this big inflatable dice. And there's, like, different surprise songs on each side of the dice. And they throw it into the crowd. And they're like, you have 60 seconds to throw around this dice. And if you don't get it back onto the stage, we get to pick the surprise song. But if you get it back onto the stage, whatever it lands on, we'll sing. So that that was happening. And I was, like, freaking out because one of the songs on the surprise side of the dice is Voodoo Doll. I wish people could have seen my reaction to when the dice got back on stage and Voodoo Doll was picked. Oh, my God, I was screaming like bloody murder. I started sobbing like a baby, which I don't understand why I was crying. I think I was really excited because I've been waiting to hear that song for years. Oh my god, the best time of my life when they sang that song. It was so fun. And I think they're just like the best concert because they're all just like besties. And they're just like rocking out on stage. And they have like little videos that go on that kind of like tell, not like a story, but like little skits that they show. And they're just so fun. They have the best concerts. And I met so many people there. So many besties. It was really fun. And I feel like the five seconds of summer, One Direction, Harry Taylor fan base, like we're all very in the same world. Yeah. So it was like a very great spot to meet everyone. Just the best concert ever. Like I haven't had post-concert depression like since Harry Styles. And I just want to see them again so bad. It was so fun. And the best time ever. Is Five Seconds of Summer like if One Direction was like actually friends? Yeah. I feel like One Direction would have stayed together longer if they weren't put together as strangers and like forced into like management yeah. and like thrown into it like five seconds summer they were friends they're from australia yeah they started the band together so they're still together i think they're like, i don't know how many years it's been but love them they are my favorite and now i'm in like a five seconds of summer like yeah you've been posting hole. about them on your stories i saw like you Can't listening stop. to their i've uh i've never i wasn't like a boy band like when i was younger or even like a teenager i didn't listen to boy bands so i have 
obtained knowledge through Sarah and just through <laughs> like my own seeing it on TikTok. But mm-hmm. I like the whole entire One Direction thing. I genuinely like when I was a kid, I thought that they were just like best friends that went on to X Factor together. Like I did not know that they were just like <laughs> paired together. And I was like, yeah, kind of inevitable at some point that like they're going to break up because like these people, yeah. it's almost it was, like you have to like yeah, the, forcibly like each other. Yeah, the whole thing was rough. Yeah, that's just not. I think it, Liam went on X Factor before and then he went on again. Well, he didn't make it through when he first went and then he went on again and then he was put into One Direction with all of them. And I think it was just, they got like so famous so quick and the management was bad and like mental health was so rough but like, like the biggest boy bands so, like they can't yeah. really do much so and then zane left and i remember vividly where i was when this happened i was sitting in my social studies class in like freshman year of high school and i was sitting there and my friend came in and he was like sarah don't look on twitter <laughs> it's like what are you talking about because that's when twitter was like huge and i went on twitter and it said that zane has left on direction i thought he was like pranking me and i literally felt like someone died See, so sad. I I don't remember where I was at when Zane left One Direction. <laughs> I don't even think that I probably heard about it until like two weeks after it happened. I just <laughs> wasn't ever. They were they were still together though. After for, I don't know how long. I saw them again. I think they went on one more tour or something like that. Without but Zane, it was like heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. They had like an, one more album without him, but I don't think they ever toured that album. I don't really remember. Zane has a very nice voice, isn't it? His solo vocals and you and I, like when he does yeah. the. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. yeah. He has very good vocals. I will say that Harry is the only one from One Direction that I listen to, like, as a solo artist. I've listened to a few Niall songs, but it's Mm -hmm. almost, like, too... I don't want to call it pop, but it kind of does remind me of pop in a way. Like, I don't know Mm -hmm. what to call Niall's music. I don't listen to Zayn. I feel like Zayn's way too, like... Yeah. I never... I only listen to a few of them. I'm not really... I don't know. Not that genre I love, but... I don't listen it. to um I never I mean sometimes I do but Louis he still makes music he was just here when I was in Ocean City he was like 30 minutes from my house he was where you where you stayed with your Airbnb there's like a little outdoor stadium oh, like yeah. a small one and he performed there when I was away um but they still sing like he sings like a few One Direction songs like when Harry goes on tour he sings some Niall does like oh I didn't know that Harry sang One Direction songs yeah, well, he still sings "What Makes You Beautiful," but when he wanted the Europe leg, he added Stockholm syndrome. Oh, so wait. rude! I love that though. That like you left it probably like in a place where you can like respect that time in your life because you know like some people like. Well, Miley Cyrus does talk about Hannah Montana, but I feel like like she would probably rarely. I don't know. Does she sing Hannah Montana songs? I don't know. But like, I feel I don't like know. I feel like her like growing up in like a Disney world is so yeah rough to probably think back on yeah that's what i mean like just stuff like that some people don't so it's nice to hear that like they will still sing one direction songs and still like respect each other for the oh, most yeah. part wasn't it liam that like went on logan paul's podcast and was like i'm the most talented out of all of them yeah he apologized for that yeah he's like in a bad place or something well listen one direction they ever ever try to do this again and go on a tour release tickets it'll be a bloodbath i will go to war I really would. I would drain my whole bank account if I had to. What oh do my you God. think is the actual probability of like them going on ever in the future? I think it's higher than it, I would have said like a year ago. Like sometimes they'll have like interviews and they'll be like, it's a possibility. But like years ago, I feel like they wouldn't have really said that. Do you I feel like slowly we'll get there. Do you think it'll be like a in sync thing where like it's years down the road and they're like all like they're old. old. <laughs> and they're just trying to do it for like... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it could be like a, like with Jonas Brothers and Taylor's doing like a whole era. Like maybe they'll sing yeah. all their, like a big, let's do a big concert, just like one little tour. Oh my God. I would literally go into panic mode. I can, I honestly, as somebody who has no like uh, skin in the game, is that what you call it? <laughs> I have no, you know, whatever. Um, I could foresee them maybe possibly years down the road. I don't feel like it would be anytime soon. I feel like it would be like, yeah years and maybe it would be like a select few amount of shows and like yeah i don't know but there's still hope i'm still holding on to hope for that one sarah will be oh and i have where will i be no i was just saying you'll be old and you'll be like there's maybe they'll still go on tour (laughs) i will i'll bring my kids if i have kids at that point (laughs) they will be growing up on them um but oh so the other con so (laughs) remember the luke combs fiasco yes (laughs) 
he i got an email i'm like on his like email list and he's going on i don't know if it's on a tour but he added tour dates next year i obviously got tickets i needed a redemption so i got the pre-sale i didn't get waitlisted and i bought tickets for all of us to go again everyone that tried to go when we just went i bought i got us tickets it's not till next july literally 11 months away but we're gonna try this again um so see you next july but at least it you works know. Out. i love that though at least you know yeah i just i really hope we, we really see him I'm, I'm so excited i'm really that's all i have though i'm um i'm debating on i just like do you ever get notifications from spotify that it's like a uh, personalized like they'll give you notifications of like who's in concert based off of like who you listen to that's like around you yeah this morning i got one and i didn't know that noah khan is coming to <sighs> the like uh tcu like amphitheater that's like downtown indianapolis and i'm really debating on going but like <laughs> no one listens to him and like, i wish we lived closer i would go with you that's what i'm saying i'm like i don't know like because i want to go because i feel like i feel like he's in the spot right now where like he blew up off off of um dial drunk but like he's not to like a super like super super big point yet so i feel like he's still at this like like i'll see videos of him and like he has his dogs on stage and like he goes and sees people after the concert and i feel like you yeah like he's still at this like obtainable point you know what i mean in his career like he hasn't super blown up yet but i feel like he will down the road and um i would i would like to go but i don't know who would go with me so Aww. who knows who knows if that's gonna be a possibility he was here a few months ago and didn't get tickets to go and i was so sad because i found out after he was here I wanted to see him too. I love his music. Yeah, I do too. I love that, that genre of music. I feel like it's really, like, it's fun. I'm trying to see exactly who right. else it was. I got, like, a, I don't, I don't know. know. No one else is coming over here, I don't think. There's no, see, there's no concert for me to look forward to. What am I supposed to do? There's I had so many to look forward to. I, and that's another thing, like, I'm not a concert girly, so me just, like, randomly wanting to go to a concert, too, just feels, like, so out of character, because every time I've tried to go to a concert, like, nobody's, like, with it. Like, nobody's like, yeah, let's yeah. go. Like, it's always, like, me being like, I want to go to this concert, Ugh. but, like, nobody to go no. with. We have to go to one together. I will say, though, I'm probably, if, I'm probably the most anxious person at the venue, any concert I'm at. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I get the most anxiety at concerts, even though I love them so much. Something about, like, crowded rooms and so many people really does it for me. Oh, yeah. So. No, it's terrifying, too. Especially since, like, uh, some of them that are outside, it's, like, even though they're, like, metal detectors and everything, you're, like, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, everything is just scary. Especially every time I see a video of people, like, leaving a concert in that, like, traffic jam. Oh, I hate it. Oh, yeah, no. So, I always make sure. I always have... I'm so on edge at concerts. I have to have the set list, like, downloaded or screenshotted, so I have to see what song is next, what song is last. And at the end of the last song, we leave before... Because I'm like, I'm beating the traffic oh, of everyone yeah. walking out. Because I get so nervous. No, that's 100%. That would be me. I would be like, yeah, no, I can't. Yeah. I can't do it. I got to get out of here. But um, yeah, so many people. Speaking of uh, this random thought that I had, because I, so I don't know if anybody else has seen this. Oh, I feel like, yeah, we didn't go to episode without talking about it. I feel like we've, whatever it is so far, <laughs> but here we are. Taylor Swift posted and was like... <laughs> um her like 1989 uh vinyls that she's putting on like pre-order pre-sale whatever and she's released two maybe two three i don't know but like they're different editions and i bought all of them like all the ones that she's you did all of them because like 1989 I saw, was there a purple one those are purple ones? it's like that one was yellow one was like blue I don't, I literally don't know. Maybe it was, like, the original one that was purple. I don't, I literally can't remember. I could have made that up. But she, like, says, oh, for 48 hours only. And I'm like, okay, why is she doing, like, so many different vinyls? And then I saw people, like, theorizing that, like, if you buy every vinyl, something will be in it. So then I just started buying every single vinyl. Do I have any of the other vinyls? <laughs> no. Like, will I buy you them now? Probably, <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> like, why do I just have, like, three 1989 vinyl Taylor versions? I love that you did that. <laughs> It was like no, because that's like with books, like they're special editions with extra stuff in it. You gotta get all of them. Yeah, that's what you I gotta mean. read. What's in it? And I would like to do the like uh, clear, like acrylic. Uh, when I see people like do the shelves and they have like all of the um, vinyls, I would like to do that. So maybe yeah. I'll like go even, and like, pay people... an arm and a leg for the vinyls. <laughs> <laughs> and then people when they put them up on their walls, I think it's cute. Yeah. Like as like a room decoration. Yeah. Cause I don't have a 
a record player or anything so that's what i would do if i bought one yeah that's what one day i want to have like an actual record player because like the ones that you buy from like target i've heard are like terrible for vinyls like can ruin them so i'd like one day to have like an actual record player and have like an expansive like vinyl collection because i have like a few vinyls that are like down in the basement uh, I used to collect them in high school, but I don't. And it reawakened this thing in me where I wanted to order like Fleetwood Mac vinyls. I wanted to like order all the other Taylor Swift ones, the Harry Style ones. Like I was like, I'm about to just have a bunch of vinyls. Yeah, it's like they're fun. <laughs> yeah, like having vinyls. I never, I never bought one, but I always look at them when I'm at Urban because yeah, they have all of them. I there. know, me too. I'm always, but they're like an <laughs> arm and a leg. I mean, they're just really expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. And I'm like expensive yeah. for like I don't even like play vinyls, but I just feel like it's like that's like a collector's piece. So like, what can you do? Yeah. One day you can play them when you get a, a record player for them. Speaking of Taylor Swift, I was browsing Etsy today. <sighs> Let me shout this person out because they. I even ordered you a sheet of stickers as well. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, they stop mowing their lawn. Do they know we're recording in session right no, now? No, literally. They're so disrespectful. Um, oh, here. On Etsy, I found this. What? I can't believe this. This shop. What is it? And this shop is like so. Okay, so it's Art by Elowin. E-L-O-W-Y-N. On Etsy. And like, one, their art is beautiful. Like, they basically, like, draw th- these things and, like, make them into stickers. She has, a, like, like you can buy these individually, too, but she, like, sells sheets of stickers. So, she does, like, Lana ones, but she's done one for, like, every single Taylor Swift album. And so, I got you a Reputation sticker sheet because it is, like, I'm going to send you a picture. I'm going to send you a picture. It's, like, for... Wait, that was so kind of you. It's, it's like... <gasps> It's like every single uh, song has a sticker and like I ordered one from every single album because like I just love it. I spent, should I even be honest about how I spent like over $200. How much were they? <laughs> On these stickers? Yeah, because I bought a bunch. I probably bought like 100 <laughs> Oh, oh my God. I was going to say how much this is so cute it is so hold on i need to like zoom in on all of them now she has one for like every single so i got one for every single taylor album but i know reputation is sarah's fave so i was like oh she'll wait do you like cut them out or are they like peel it's like peel them off it's like when you get a sticker sheet they're all so beautiful oh my god the dress one yes delicate oh my god this is the cute thank you so much i feel like it's my birthday and i just got a gift <laughs> no this was so kind and it's like she even has these ones i'll send you this one too wow, i can't believe like, she draws these i'll try to post it i'll we'll either post these on the podcast insta or i'll like put them in the yeah, video yeah i can post them when we um, um but i also Instagram. got this one where i just bought again every single uh era like she made a little cake drawing <laughs> for all of the eras <gasps> this is why is this the cutest thing i've ever seen how did you find this it was like i was browsing etsy and you know when it'll be like stickers for you and i found like one sticker then i always go to like the shop and i found it and i kid you not like i ordered so many like and it's i want that folklore one i want to eat it no literally i want that's gonna be my birthday cake this year is that folklore no literally i want to make these as like real cakes i'm not i can't decorate cakes for the life of me me but i would like to try these are so she's so talented i can't believe she draws this the 1989 one's really cute that's what i mean like i literally i think i saw the 1989 cake one on etsy and then i was like oh wait this is so cute like i wonder if this shop like sells other things like i said she also does like uh lana ones like uh there's like lana stickers and just like even like little bumper sticker like she has so much stuff i think like over 400 things listed on her etsy so you guys shop yeah, I need to go look. by Elowin over on etsy because they are like the cutest stickers that i think i've ever found in my life like genuinely i'm gonna have to place an order no i'm, I'm not even joking i i was this morning i saw that and i was like oh my gosh like i'm having a heyday with That's this so, so cute I just got new stickers from the Harry. Well, because remember I took off the stickers from my Stanley. Yeah. I still don't know what stickers to put on. And I ordered cute ones from Etsy that are Harry Styles themed. But now they're like too cute again that I don't want to put them on my Stanley. I told you to order the ones. Go I know. and order one <laughs> specifically that you know you're going to put on your Stanley. I think I'm just going to do it and then order them again. Yeah. If I want to put them like on a Kindle or something, they're so cute. I should have ordered two sets of them. I don't. Next time I get cute stickers, I'll do that. Which is also what oh, I this told is so you cute. Do. I also said I know I did not <laughs> I know I need to do that when I go back on Etsy there's just so many cute stickers I can't believe that she like draws this no that's what I mean like she draws them it's like the best it's, part I, it, it was just so good like I was so 
and I just couldn't help. I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> reputation, Sarah's fave. Like, she's mm-hmm. going to love this. That was so nice. Thank you. Also, stickers will do that. Yeah. I love stickers. Also, did you see, I don't know where it was posted or if it was a part of, like, a trailer or something, but um, look what you made me do. Taylor's version was used in something, and everybody's talking oh about God, it right no. now. Wait, was it used in, like, a it, like an ad? I like think a, it was used like in, like, a trailer of some sorts, and... Like I've seen it. I see. I saw like five videos on the stair climb today on TikTok about people talking oh, about no it. Way. I don't know where it was from. I just know like everybody's talking about it. So like, you think she's gonna release like a single Taylor's version from Reputation? Well, some people. I don't know. Some people. I think I saw some people say like maybe it would be like a wildest dreams, like how she just released the single of that. Like maybe she would just release the single, yeah. and then Reputation would be later. But I'm really hoping that like 1989 comes out and then Reputation comes out. I feel like that's the wait. What does she have left? Is it just two? Uh, yeah, it's Reputation and Lover? Debut. Is Lover left too? I thought I think Lover she did after every. I think that was like the first album. Oh really? Like after everything. Let me look that I up. I feel like Reputation should be last. Debut. Yeah, cause I think I saw somebody make a TikTok and they're like, the only thing she has left to take is her name and her reputation. And I was like, that yeah, was I so feel like I feel like she will do Reputation last. I feel like it just makes sense. Yeah, that album just like as like a last, like this is my music. Um, that is so annoying. I want to go outside and tell them to stop mowing the lawn. Yeah, t- uh, Lover was the first album that she released that she fully owns. Oh, well, I don't know why I didn't know that. So, it's just debut yeah, and reputation. I, That's honestly, debut being last would also be really cute. Yeah, because it's like the last one because it's the first album that she ever made. Yeah. I went, Did yeah. you see that? Um, I saw, I don't know if it was a TikTok. I don't know where I saw it, but Justin Bieber and I forgot who else is trying to get Demi out Lovato of. Demi Lovato and Ariana Grande. Yeah, with Scooter Braun. Which, get out of their contracts. I don't know if this is like true because you know like sometimes i feel like the rumor mill just goes and like people just run with it but if it is true something had to have happened like for the three of your biggest artists that have been with you like for life to just like up and leave yeah now i'm trying to like wondering what maybe he stole something of theirs too i don't know something bad because hasn't justin bieber been with him his whole career yes scooter braun has been with justin since he just found justin bieber yeah that's crazy yeah must have been something bad oh yeah that's honestly since they didn't leave when taylor swift was oh yeah getting her stuff stolen well and demi lovato made like essentially a comment i forget the exact wording but like uh when taylor made her like speech about uh her stuff being stolen from her and demi lovato was essentially like oh well like he's never like scooter's never done anything like that to me and it's like it doesn't he matter. could <laughs> yeah i know i'm like he also could like just steal all of your stuff from you so yeah i don't know like what you guys big shrug yeah. emoji who knows maybe we'll maybe we'll find out i hope it's true though i hope that they did leave scooter Braun. i know i don't know if it was true i just randomly saw someone i would love talking about it. i would want a front row seat to the downfall of scooter Braun. <laughs> genuinely yeah, that's what everyone was saying is him getting in big trouble and I, uh, I keep getting tagged. Okay, hey, Delulu girlies. I keep getting tagged in, like, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Like, uh, somebody on TikTok is, like, dedicated to making, like, clues to see that they're talking or something. And I keep on getting tags in it. And I'm like, guys. Who is it? The Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Who's Travis Kelsey? We, we, Have we talked about him before? I need a fan. We talked about this in uh, the podcast episode when I was in Jersey. Um, the football player. Oh. Yeah. I forgot his name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. People keep tagging Oh, wait. No that. way. Yeah. Which I don't think it's true. Guys, listen. I love being delusional, but I just don't think it's true. But I would love it. I would love if they were together. Me too. The story that you told me of him going to her concert and all of that i think it's cute i would love that yeah for her and he's like he the, seems sweet it's like him and joe burrow even though joe burrow is allegedly engaged um but like him and joe burrow, oh i saw that too yeah they're like the heart throbs or whatever of the nfl that girlies yeah. love so i feel like that's also why they get did shipped. you see taylor swift in lbi when me you and Haley stayed yes i was gonna ask you about that as well if you saw yeah. that she's in jersey i did 
which that was crazy i will i still think it's like fans can just be so disrespectful and not understand because to like come to somebody's rehearsal dinner and like mob the place and just like i saw the videos and like you can tell as soon as taylor comes out she's like kind of just like oh my gosh and i've even seen like interviews where taylor like hates hates when like fans do that like it makes her feel very uncomfortable and um it's not even like they could have like spoken to her like what are you waiting for just for her to walk out i don't know it was just like not their time and place maybe wait for the next day when they're getting coffee or something that's what i'm saying and it was the rehearsal dinner so like imagine if that was their wedding day and like you ruined it and it because it was jack is it antoff i think it's his last name Something yeah like something like that her producer i'm pretty sure he's like a producer or something with her and uh margaret now antonoff but uh she is an actress and she's actually uh who margaret by alana del rey is writ- written for yeah like i saw a tiktok and she sang it there yeah lana del rey so cute i know and so that's like the little uh i've never seen like such a big pop star especially taylor swift so close to me oh yeah i know she was like an hour and a half from me well the last time was like blake lively when she was filming it ends with us oh yeah i forgot she was like i think that was like an hour from me and that was like you were allowed to stand outside and like watch them film and i knew people that were like there watching and stuff well because i don't know if they're gonna did they stop recording i mean filming are they still going they acted like filming was wrapped for it like they act like i don't know it's a very confusing time in hollywood with the uh writers and actor strikes right now so <laughs> literally yeah. who knows i don't know also so I i'm wondering if they're gonna come back i have not finish, or if they are updated with the writer strike well didn't they i didn't and then what they say to give like a date or something yeah i don't know i can't i can't remember like i don't know i don't know yeah i don't know but I do want to say that The Summer Rider Turn Pretty is getting a season three. Hell yeah. So for all of, I just remembered like when I posted my TikTok, which, oh my God, I'm never publicly posting something on TikTok that has a hot take in it ever again. (laughs) Um, Not when there's two sides, two very strong sides. Oh my God. But uh, (laughs) everybody who was coming at me was like, yeah, well, you guys probably aren't even going to get a season three because of writer strikes. And then as soon as it was posted, I was like, (laughs) <laughs> what what and i will say i'm like so nervous of how they're gonna yes do the third season like there's just so much crucial stuff we need to include i didn't watch the last episode because i didn't want to <gasps> you didn't watch the last episode no but did wait wait what was the last one we watched together the was, second to last or the- it was the one where at the end her and jerem okay summer to pretty spoiler um her and jeremiah kiss at the end okay yeah so then it was just the last one you had left yeah yeah honestly don't watch it it hurts <laughs> no that's what i'm saying and i did but i have seen things online because everybody's freaking out that uh i think jeremiah and belly got like a beyonce song and then i saw somebody post on tiktok and they were like oh listen they're very very like um purposeful with like the music that they use and not to stir the pot or anything but what did jay-z do to beyonce <laughs> What did Jay-Z do Wait. to Oh, yeah, I didn't even put those things together. Yeah. And I was like... Wait, that's so true. Yeah. Yeah, so celebrate your little Beyonce song. Go ahead and celebrate, guys. Well, <laughs> not to hurt you, but Conrad Exile did play. That's... Did play during a, I just, a horrible scene. I literally... I, like, didn't watch it this was, episode because I just simply don't want yeah. to. Like, I don't... I did see, too, though, like, a thing where i don't know if they got into like an argument or something and conrad walks out and like jeremiah's like smirking and like belly's really upset and i'm like yeah because the whole entire relationship is deriving from the fact that like jeremiah just wants to get at conrad and have something that conrad wants it's not because he really loves and cares for belly yeah it was yeah i don't i can't you didn't watch it but the way they ended the whole season was really weird did you see anything about how they ended it no, but you can tell me because I honestly don't foresee myself it, watching this episode. It was like nothing about like the the like the love triangle. It was Belly going back to her volleyball camp and playing volleyball, and Jeremiah comes and he's like, "I'm gonna watch my girl play." It was literally a volleyball practice. It wasn't even a game or anything. He's just standing like being creepy in the back, and <laughs> just ends on like her playing volleyball, which I feel like it was such an odd place to end it. I don't know. Like 
them I, let me tell you something i didn't even remember that she played volleyball in the books because they didn't talk I know. about this they didn't volleyball say as much as they do in the show well during the volleyball scene though they um showed little it's like a montage and conrad was back at the beach house and he was going through belly's stuff and like he was holding the bear and like all that stuff so like that part hurt but like the jeremiah standing in the back of practice was a little do you want to know what i hope they don't do in season three which i don't know if i've said this before sorry if i have but like i hope that they don't introduce like somebody else for conrad to make like even more drama like you know yeah just like, stick, oh, to, well, stick to the plot some, like yeah just stick to the plot of the books like we don't need because to then that's like another thing for jeremiah girlies to like hold over conrad because the third one very pivotal thing in this love triangle and if they change anything about what goes down between them in the beginning of book three? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so angry. Yeah, like that is like very like huge to the plot. Which the the whole the change. reason that I feel like they won't do it is because I feel like it'll just because maybe you like lose. I don't know. You probably wouldn't lose some of the Jeremiah girlies though because sometimes some of their I don't know. No, don't but know. It, like Jeremiah in the books, I think is like feels like a different personality than he is in the show. Like I feel like it wasn't so much like. I want what Conrad has in the book. Yeah. Like, it was just like, oh, Belly's pretty now. Yeah. So, like, the third book was interesting because his whole personality changes because he grows up and becomes this, like, Frat guy. horrible. <laughs> yeah. So, I hope they don't change that. I feel like they're, I don't know, I'm really nervous. It was like the tic- That's our season. It was like the TikTok that I sent you where it was, like, the SpongeBob audio, and it was like, oh, I lost my pen. And it was like, you can have mine. It's like, I lost something. I lost. Nice. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. That's him. You're just, like, interrupting yeah. every single moment. Like, I don't yeah. know why you're here. In the, I, it's so not like shoo him away, like you're in the way. Oh yeah, that's uh. Yeah, but it was something like crazy. Didn't, the last episode, I'm did not watch this episode because I just simply refuse to watch it. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. I I won't. I won't watch it. I don't need to. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to. Maybe when the third one comes out, you can refresh your memory yeah. and just finish off the last episode because you have something to look forward to. Yeah, in the third third season. I feel like so many times I've been like, should I watch this episode? And I'm like, no. That is me with Daisy Jones and the Six. I have one more left. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just, I could watch the last one, but it's like, it's, it's sitting there. I imagine, I, who did I tell this to the other day? I said, I feel like this is modern day. Like I wasn't old enough to like really be in the like Jacob, Team Jacob, t- Team Edward mm-hmm. debate. But now yeah, I too. feel like this is like the modern day, like Team Jacob, Team Edward. And like, it's like, I do look at Jeremiah girlies like Team Jacob girlies, where I'm like, you guys are just kind of holding on to nothing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like... You know, I wish that I, like, was into Twilight. I wish I knew what team I would be. Would I be Team Edward? Yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> I go, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read it. Well, it's just or like, watch it's or the same thing with Jacob and Jeremiah, where I feel like they're great platonically to be a platonic character like i just wish so bad that you would keep them 100 percent platonic because the story would have went so much better if it was just always like a really good friend to lean on and yeah. never like that weird like they, they just need the they need the, the love drama yeah do you know what both jeremiah and jacob give their energy gives what? like when you see the tiktoks and it's like the guy friend you're talking to and they say that they like somebody and they're like you know her very well and you're like <laughs> <laughs> that's what it gives like this oh uh, yeah it just gives that like oh why do you have to like go and ruin it like i just don't yeah i don't like nor enjoy it but yeah everyone tells sarah that she needs to um read twilight and watch twilight this fall yeah i have to watch that this is just the six red white and royal blue i feel like that's it i don't think anything else has come out i'm so behind i'm always behind on watching things i feel like i'm actually like years behind on twilight <laughs> oh, no, you're <laughs> actually like bad. almost a decade behind on twilight actually <laughs> i watched it when i was younger i just don't literally nothing from that movie is in my memory i have no idea what happened i actually remember um going to twilight breaking down part two and falling down the stairs at the movies what? in front of everybody. <laughs> no. That's yeah. So sad. How old would I have been? I don't know what year that came out, but I think I was literally in like fifth, fourth, fifth grade. Yeah, like I, I was young. Yeah, I was young, and I went to go see it because like there was they weren't like raunchy or anything. Like there wasn't really anything like that going on. So I went and saw it because I'd seen all the other movies, and I just remembered, like, I had popcorn in my hand, and I face-planted in front of everybody, Aww. and it was terrible. 
not the popcorn flying. Not me flying and just like hitting my face on the <laughs> stairs. And I was like, oh, that was cool. <laughs> like, and it, it, oh. I can't believe that just. That's like me when, at Target once. I was self checking out with blueberries. The whole cart and went all over, and there's like a line for people to come to check out. Mortifying. Hey, I would have started. I did crying. not get another. Pa- yeah. The girl was helping me pick them up, and she was like, do you want another one? I was like, absolutely not, actually. I want to leave. Actually, I it was so you never ate blueberries again. No, they weren't even for me. They were for my dogs, by the way. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> to give them some blueberries. Has anything else been going on with you this week? I don't think so. I'm trying to think. Hmm. What have I been up to? Just the concerts, I feel like. Um, I went to... Chris's cousin had like this little dinner thing with like her friends and we went and she had like it was themed it was a very cute little dinner and the theme was girl dinner like that tiktok sound and it was really cute we were all just in like little floral outfits really cute dinners at her like beach house it was like so cute that's literally the only thing I've been doing that is so cute is that what you were wearing your little uh was it a tube top in your white linen pants yeah 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 and everyone was people were asking me where that top is from I think I've had that since seventh grade eighth grade that's been in my closet for a very long time. I'm surprised it's still getting use. <laughs> but I no idea where it's from. It's literally from like 2013, maybe. That's literally <laughs> me with everything. If I see comes they're like, where's this from? I'm like, I don't know. I done already forgot. Yeah. I already forgot. Or it's like years ago. <laughs> like, I'm like, my memory is so bad when it comes to that, like where I got things. Yeah. I'll be like, uh, no, no clue. Idea. No the clue. worst is when I'm trying to find the link because I know where I got it. And I can't find it because I don't know, like, the names or anything. And I go down, like, that rabbit hole. Oh, I give yeah. up. Yeah. I'm like, I don't have the I'll tell you where it's from, but I don't the link. Yeah. Um, Nothing else, though. I'm, oh, my, um, my Uggs that I bought in the last episode are here. Same. Yay. They're back here. Oh, yeah, yours came too. Well, yours came probably before mine, right? I you don't know. I think before. they came, they came, like, last week or something. They're just yeah, sitting. I haven't, mine too. I haven't worn them yet. I'm waiting to... It's not warm enough. Wear them out. I mean, I not know, cold enough. No, it doesn't feel right. Not cold enough, yeah. Maybe I'll wear the slide ones to my nail appointment. Just to, like, break them in a little. Yeah. I'm just, like, been staring at them, and I want to wear them so oh, bad. Yeah. Little, little Sherpa slides. Yes. Oh, they are so cute. I want to wear them so bad. I told my mom that, because we're going on vacation, like, uh, like the uh, first week or two, I forget, first or second week of September, we're going to the beach. And I'm like ready for fall and we're going to the beach. Mm-hmm. But I said, I, know. I wish like it felt like fall weather right now. And then you get to like, it feels like fall weather. And then you get like a week break. You go to the beach. You feel like, oh, look, whatever, beach, summertime. And then you come back and it yeah. feels like fall. But I said right before, like I'm going to deep clean my room right before we go on vacation. But I'm going to decorate it for fall. That way when I come home, my room's like Aww. decorated for fall. And I'm just like, that's fun. 100% in the fall mood. Yeah. That's like the perfect timing. You get one last summer trip, yeah. and then you're in fall mode. That's what I said. And, and I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy fall stuff for my room, but I was like, it just feels too early. I feel like I need to have like one more beach day, and then yeah. it's just like, then I can start. But I feel like fall goes so quick. Yes, that's what I was about to say. It's like it's like the quickest, the best season, but the quickest season. Yes, and it just it, well, I think it's also because like people measure fall with Halloween, so it's like after Halloween's gone, like people act like like falls over, and I'm like falls not over. But it's just hard yeah, because I, you do kind of like everything kind of correlates to Halloween with like, oh, it's fall. Let's watch a scary movie or like, let's go do yeah. this. Like, it, I don't know. Yeah. It all correlates with Yeah, once fall. that's over, I feel like once that and Thanksgiving are over, fall's done. Or also like the leaves, like once they're on the ground, oh, yeah. it doesn't feel like fall anymore. And they, they fall like kind of fast. Like, oh, it's yeah. like a month and a half. And those leaves are done. And then the trees. I can't wait for them to turn orange. Oh, I don't no, want to the trees sticks. to be just like it's so depressing sad mm-hmm. <laughs> so is. sad it's like so sad but depressing to look outside at that i know the only thing to look forward to is like the holiday season yeah but then once it hits january you're like actually we have your birthday to look forward to <laughs> after that passes it's just midwinter That's not, everyone in my family always goes man after christmas and then like january just sucks and i'm like Oh. it does no <laughs> no <laughs> like, it's okay we're doing something fun <laughs> we're gonna make it feel not middle of winter snowstorm oh it just <laughs> that's it and i'm i'm genuinely petrified to travel during the winter because like last year i traveled before my birthday and it was like the turbulence was so bad from like having winter storms oh my god i wanted to throw mm-hmm. up everywhere like it was so bad i know i have to go to um 
we're going to my dad's for like a little after Christmas to New Year's and I hate traveling in general. Yes. Christmas time when it's packed, I also hate it. Oh, the flights yeah. are so expensive right now. And last year we tried was it last year we tried to go? I'm trying to remember or the year before. But Chris got COVID and I was supposed to go with him. So he had to stay home. So I was like, okay, I'll go with my brother and his then girlfriend and we were going on to we're going to the airport so early in the morning it's packed i'm having a panic attack just in general because it's the airport and we get there and my dad i think he was changing i don't know if it was my seat on the flight or something but instead of changing the seat on the flight he changed the date of my flight so i get there and i'm trying to get my ticket nothing's working so i was like it's fine i talked to the lady she's like we can put you on like a list so if someone doesn't come or something you can take their seat and i was like i'm not taking that risk it's christmas time who's not coming went home and my mom turned back around at the airport to come home and he changed it for the next day so i had to go by myself <laughs> and i come the next day at 4 a.m my mom has to drive me back to the airport and i had a panic attack and i watched everyone get on my flight and i was the last one and i go up to the guy i went through security and everything and i went to the guy i was like i'm not going on you guys can leave without me and, he was, and there was one last person getting on he was like where's your family i was like no i'm traveling alone and the guy was like are you sure and i was like i don't want to have a panic attack on the plane he's like no you're right we don't want to stop the plane because of that so I made my mom turn around again, get me from the airport, and go home. And I didn't end up going for Christmas. <laughs> I stayed home. But your dad was trying to change your seat, though. Like, did you just not like the seat you were in, or were you not by your brother? I don't know. If he, I, I don't know what it was. Maybe he was changing. I don't know what he was changing. I, if it had to be, like, a seat, because what else are you really going to yeah. switch on the, the flight? But, yeah, he switched the date, and no one knew until we got there. My poor mom had to drive back and forth a hundred times. I hate when, like, a flight will change your seats without like telling you you know like you buy the seats and then they'll change them and like not even yeah, let you know mine did that last them. time yeah i went to florida because i bought i like to go closer to the front and i specifically yes. do that and i was checking in because the next day we were leaving florida and they didn't they didn't have my seats i had to buy new seats and i was like i paid more for these yes seats. and i had to call them and it was a mess and i had to be further in the back and i was like obviously panicking but no, it's so annoying why don't you tell me no that's what i'm saying they don't let you know because like when me and my mom went to florida like we didn't sit with each other on the flights um there because i had bought and like that i paid for like tickets that way we were sitting next to each other and then like they just changed them and like we weren't even sitting mm -hmm. anywhere next to each other it's not nice they look like, sneaky yeah i don't like it if you paid and just like it's like have you seen the debate oh my gosh it was like all over tiktok i don't know a week or two ago where this woman was basically like going to this conference for work and she had to like get sleep on the plane she had to go straight to this conference and like do a, like a, a talk or whatever and she specifically bought a window seat because like for whatever reason the woman bought a window seat that would help her sleep whatever and this mom had like two kids that were like 10 years old plus like they were like you know whatever and she asked the woman she was like hey like me and my kids aren't sitting together and i think the kids were like a few aisles up like she could still see her kids and she was like will you like switch seats with me um that way uh like i can sit with my kids or whatever and the lady was like oh yeah if you have a window seat like i'd be happy to whatever with you like i bought a window seat so like i want a window seat and the mom was like oh yeah no like mine's in the middle and the woman was like, oh, then, like, no, like, I'm not changing my seats because, like, I got a window seat and, like, I don't want to whatever. Yeah. And the mom was, like, really upset with her for, like, not switching seats with her. And I was, like, and it was, like, split 50-50, like, all over TikTok. Like, who's in the right, who's in the wrong? Which yeah. I just want to say, like, no one's in the right and wrong because you paid for your seat, so you get to sit in your yeah, seat that your you paid seat. for. Like, you don't have yeah. to give up your seat to somebody. I feel like it's it's valid if you have, like, you're switching a window seat with a window yes. seat. Yes. But also, it's her kid, so I feel like that's a little different, too. Yeah. It's like she wants to be with her, her children, but... And that's the thing, is, like, yeah. people were arguing that, too, and the woman was like, I would have 100%, like, if the kids were, like, five, six, like, so, but the kids were, like, old enough that they were even, like, annoyed with their mom for, like, checking in with them, like, during mm -hmm. the flight yeah. duration. Like, they were, like, completely old enough to, like, be on a flight and, like, their mom be a few rows back from them. Like, it wasn't, like, a, yeah. oh, my gosh, my, like the five-year-old yeah, so and yeah. so she was like i didn't really see the big deal and the mom was upset about it at first and i was like also though like i can understand the frustration because like we said like say that the flight like switched up the seating or whatever but like it's not her problem you know what i mean like it's never yeah. somebody else that's on the flight's problem and she doesn't yeah. like have to switch seats with you at the end of the day and this did it cause like a fight on the plane like plane no. flights fights scare me i'm always scared i'm gonna be like 
watching one, I'm already having a panic attack, and that's just gonna spike it. <laughs> well, and then they like uh, push everything back because like it's like a confrontation, so the flight can't take yeah. off and like all it's of that delayed. stuff. Um, no, they weren't fighting about it. She just said like the mom was kind of like having an attitude with her after she said no, like that she won't be switching the seats, and I was just like. I understand, like, the sticky thing is, is that, it, I like, kids are involved, but, like, the way she described it was, like, the kids were, like, plenty old enough they to, like, fine. be sitting, and, like, yeah. they were fine. They were just on their iPad or, like, their phone or whatever, and yeah. I, I would have said, I don't know, actually, but I feel like it's her seat. If the kids were fine, it wasn't, like, a crucial, they yeah. need to sit it together. That would have been okay. And the kids were together, so it wasn't, like, oh, this one kid's over here, this other kid's over here. Like, yeah. the kids were sitting together, and then the mom just, like was like a little bit farther from them and i'm like yeah. but you guys are all on the same plane i don't know like i personally it depends like if i had to pay more to sit in the seat i was sitting in i wouldn't switch it yeah in that I same wouldn't. exact predicament because i would be like no like i'm not and also she was sitting in the middle seat the mom was it's like yeah no i'm not sitting in the middle either oh my god i hate sitting in the middle yeah and uh, i always get stuck in the middle when i travel with chris he gets the window seat see i always get the yeah. window seat the only time um that uh, somebody has asked me to switch with them and i did switch with them was like i was on the flight home back from coachella and it was like the last flight and i had the aisle seat because i either want the window seat or i want the aisle seat that way i have like mm -hmm. breathing room i feel and yeah. i was sitting in the aisle and this guy comes and he was like probably i'm not even joking like six five and he like goes and he, he was sitting in the middle and i was like hey i'll just sit oh. in the middle and like you sit on the aisle seat because yeah. like his legs were so long and like that would be miserable to yeah. sit there and so that i switched with him but like other than that if i paid for my seat i'm sitting in my seat like i feel bad that like something like that may have happened but like i'm not my problem at the end of the day yeah <laughs> yeah i like the aisle seats i feel so if i'm pushed in like the the window i just feel like I can't get out. Oh my yeah. God, I can't even think about a plane right now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm preparing myself for December. Back to December. Sarah's going to maybe get on her flight to go to um, Florida. My dad's coming here, though, this weekend. Oh my God, wait, I didn't tell you. So he's coming here with my stepmom this weekend. I don't know. I think he has like a meeting in the city or something because he used to work there. His yeah. like, office is there, but he works from home or whatever. So I think they're coming for like a long weekend and they're staying at the Airbnb that me, you, and Haley stayed at the first time. Oh, they're staying the same exact one? <laughs> yeah. Because well, they used to live over there and they don't, like there's not really hotels in that spot. So I told them where we stayed. I think they're staying there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for them. The memories. I know. It's so funny. That is so funny and so cute. I hope yeah. they like it over there. It's nice <gasps> over there. Wait, they're coming and Tuesday? It's whatever the 29th is. Alice Feeney's going to be in New York. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who's going to come with me, but I will. I really want to go. You got to get on it's a, not like a, 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 I would say a plane, a train. <laughs> a train. Is yeah. she at the it's barns in New York or? No, she's at, like, a store that's, like, specific to, like, thrillers and mysteries, which is really cute. But it's not, like, part of her, like, tour dates, like, her book tour she's going on. I think she's just, like, for publication day, like, she's just going to be there for that day. And she just put it in, like, the caption. She was like, by the way, if anyone's in New York this day. And I'm like, I could be in New York that day. And I would really like to go. So, I'm going to figure that out. I just went to open Instagram to sh tell you about a bookstore that just opened in New York. That I mm -hmm. want you to see if it's there, if you go there. And I'm sorry, but I just opened this up and I love, we love Who's Adam that? Sandler and I love Jennifer yeah. Aniston. And Jennifer Aniston says that every year on Mother's Day, Adam Sandler and his wife send her flowers. <laughs> because <gasps> they're she, my favorite her, her, ever. Her dream was to be a mom and she like could never, unfortunately, have kids. And so every year they send her <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm actually going to start talking. Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston they're, are probably my two favorite. They're the, my two favorite besties. Like they're literal besties. Yeah. But it's called I love them. Um, this bookstore. It's called The Ripped Bodice, and it's in Brooklyn. Yeah, is it in Brooklyn? And yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I keep a, getting tagged. Yeah, I, like I should go. It's a romance bookstore. Maybe when we make the trip, <gasps> wait, we'll yeah, go to New York in uh, we October, and we'll go down. There's there. also one I want to go to. Um, it's in New York. I don't know where it is, but it's like a book slash bar. And I keep getting tagged in that, and I really want to go. It's like, it looks really cute. So, maybe we should go to that one, though, when you're here. If Not it's the a bar, bar, I don't know if I could get in. <laughs> Not the bar. <laughs> the Brooklyn one. We should go to the romance one. Okay, I was like, <laughs> wait. Bar? 
for your 21st, so <laughs> <laughs> we could go to the, the book the book bar. Yeah, go to the book bar. The that's cute. that's my 21st birthday plans, <laughs> but I um, I saw that, and I was like, oh, I wonder if Sarah knows that this is a thing. Like, you should go. Yeah. And my mom sent it to me. <laughs> that's how far I got yeah. on social media. But my mom saw it. super <laughs> cute, and it genuinely, like, I've always had the thought, but I literally texted Isaac because Isaac opened his store. His great opening was the past weekend. <gasps> Yeah, yeah. To go. It, it went great. I actually met quite a few of you guys that came by <gasps> that go to IU. That is so fun. And people were like, oh yeah, like, no, we go to IU and we saw that you posted. And I had so many great conversations and met so many great people and it was Aww, so good. So and fun. Uh, the turnout was really good. And it was, Yay. it was not funny seeing him like this, but Isaac, it's just like a true <laughs> thing that like, he does not feel anxiety or anything. Like he's just not that, I don't know how. But mm -hmm. the day before in the morning, like he was just this like, and I, I've never seen, really seen him like this. And so I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm fine. But like, he was not acting normal. And I was like, this is anxiety. Like I, I can tell you're <laughs> So anxious. welcome to this. Yeah. And he was just like the unknown, but it was so good. And so him opening mm -hmm. the store, I was like, I want to open a bookstore. Like I would put in money to like do a bookstore like that yeah. and like, do it in the city and everything like i would love to do that so who knows maybe one day down the road I'll yeah i always say store. one day i want to do that because like eventually there's got to be something else yeah to do and I, I always say a bookstore would be just like yeah the prime thing because i went to the meet cute bookstore in san diego and it was the cutest thing that i'd ever been into and like they carried a lot of indie authors and i'd also like to do that in a bookstore like carry a lot of indie authors and like authors that need more representation like it would be a nice mm -hmm whatever and like have it really cute inside and so yeah new dream unlocked new dream new bucket list item new bucket added. list new bucket list item unlocked so um <laughs> do you have your would you rather questions i do have them let me look i have how many did you make i did 10 and mine are oh. mine are like would you rather ish like some of them are would you rather and some of them are just like Who's the better one? This one or this one? Like, I don't know. Okay. It's kind of like that. I have five, but they're like, I think they're good. Okay. We did Would You Rather questions, but like pertaining to like some of our favorite books. Yeah. Like question. It's just kind of like questionnaire type things based off our yeah. faves. So. I only have five though. So do you want to start? Well, you can start since you have five. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. They're going again. Okay. First one. Would you rather get dinner with Johnny and Shannon or Claire and Gibbsy? Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> this is actually so hard. <sighs> I think I would say Claire and Gibsy. Hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> because, like, I feel like Gibsy is, like, such a personality that it would just, like, I wouldn't stop laughing the whole entire time. And, like, him and Claire's dynamic is, like, a lot more, like, funny and, like, banter than Johnny and Shannon are. Like, I love yeah. Johnny and Shannon, but they're a lot more, like, giggly and kind of, like, shy yeah. type of thing. So you have fun. Okay, next one. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather your mate be Reese or Zayden? Oh my God, stop. It's obviously Reese. Obviously. <laughs> I love Zayden, but I feel like I haven't seen enough of Zayden yet for him to like yeah. be above Reese. Like with Reese, I have like so many books of like seeing him. It was Zayden, I yeah. only have one book, and I love him. I was trying to think of another person to, or character to put with Reese, and I was looking at my books and I was like, who could like pair up with Reese? But I'm I also an as real girly. Oh, I didn't know which one, so I didn't. Or <laughs> Hunt. One of them. I love Hunt as well. Okay, next one. Would you rather join the Naturals on a case okay. or spend a day with the Throne of Glass characters? Oh, this is so hard. Because like both of <laughs> I them had so are much fun coming appealing. up with this. Yeah. It's like okay, join a case. I don't feel like I would be very useful <laughs> <laughs> with the naturals i wouldn't be yeah. but if you just spend a day with the throne of glass characters like i wouldn't have to be useful okay so i'd probably say throne of glass because i also love okay. everybody in the throne of glass series i also love the naturals though but i just don't feel like i'd be useful <laughs> all right would you rather comic book shop with lillian low or go camping with daisy and reich definitely comic book shop with lillian low <laughs> i'm sorry camping <laughs> i didn't know what else that they, they would like do no, like go ride a motorcycle do i don't or, like, know <laughs> ride your motorcycle so fast you almost die yeah i'm good yeah i'll go, <laughs> I'll go to superheroes and scones 
<laughs> um, and then the last one is, would you rather be in Nakamo or Chestnut Springs? Oh, this is hard. I think knock them out. I think I like the way that oh, it's like really? described. Because that one's like described as like an actual small town. Like we just kind of like assume mm-hmm. that Chestnut Springs is a small town. Yeah. The knock them out is like an actual small town. So I think knock them out. I would rather be there. All right. Okay. Are That's you ready so for your questions? <laughs> yes. I'm okay. nervous. Okay. So would you rather go on a date with Wynn or Gus? Oh, God. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i think i love gus so much but i think win i feel like his personality was like more he's very know, golden retriever fun. yeah i think i would have more fun and gus is more of win. that like banter kind of a little sarcastic and witty like that's yeah. just his vibe yeah i think i would vibe more with win yeah even though i love gus okay who oh. is the better get back at him boyfriend tom or i put killian tiller because i know they call him tiller but killian tiller yeah what do you mean get like being with him to get back at like christian or like christian or bj who's the better one i think tiller because they actually had a chance of being together but tom we knew tom magnolia like there's no one else tom was never tom you were just there honey i also if you said julian though yeah. Could have been a little crazy. But it's because but both no, I still would pick BJ. Tom and Tiller were used in kind of that same way where it was like we're dating and it's like, like I love someone else. Yeah, to kind of be yeah. with somebody else or whatever. I just really don't yeah. like uh is it not his name not Romeo? What the hell's his name? Romeo, yeah. Is his name Romeo? Her ex? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what, okay. I don't like I him. I like him. <laughs> I don't like him, so who is okay. who is better, Warner or Kenji? Um, I think Kenji. Kenji's my favorite. <laughs> he carried that the end of that whole series on his back. Like, I love Warner though. Don't get me wrong, but Kenji's just like. But I feel like Warner is like very like kind of thorny. If mm-hmm. you're not, I feel like you'd probably hate me at first. Yeah, like <laughs> th- like Kenji's just kind of nice to everybody. Like I feel like Warner. Yeah, he's you have goofy. To, like, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Would you rather live in the Six of Crows world or Once Upon a Broken Heart world? I feel like I would die in the Six of Crows world. <laughs> well, like, They're like brutal in there. Live in them. Yeah. <laughs> live in them with their characters like as well. Like you uh, live with the characters. No. I. Oh. Okay. I would love to meet Jax. But if I could meet those Six of Crows characters, I think my life would be complete. Oh my God. They're so perfect. I love them. <laughs> but I, would, I would eat waffles with I Nina. I was really going to think that you were going to pick Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I'm surprised that you were picking six of crows if i could survive in six of crows i want to hang out (laughs) (laughs) hey guys can i not do any of this stuff hey you would you guys would be mourning a funeral because i would probably die Mm -hmm. um would you rather give up romanticy and only be able to read romance or give up romance and only be able to read romanticy oh my god i feel like i would get so bored no but i've read romance for like so long now like being opened up into the romanticy world it's really changed the game oh my i don't know i i (laughs) I don't like this one (laughs) i (laughs) I think i would give up oh i how do i answer this i don't know can i forfeit (laughs) you can forfeit (laughs) tell us down below i don't know you guys would pick it is a hard one i think i I would get rid of romanticy, but then romance just wouldn't really, like, I would never get that, like, I could kill you feeling. Yeah. yeah. But romanticy is very specific, where you still want a good little fluffy romance book after, so it's hard to pick. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I could give up. Here's an easier one for you. Okay. Who is better, Dom or Knox? So Dom. we have Dom by By Thread and Knox from oh, yeah. Things You Never Got Over. Oh, I loved Dom. I think this is his statues. <laughs> Knox? No, the things he did for, for Allie was just really cute. I don't know. Yeah, I would say Dom to you, probably. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably say Dom. Okay. Who was the best brother? We all know who Sarah's going to pick, but we're going to say it anyway. Bo, <laughs> Rhett, Cade, or Jasper? <sighs> I know I like want to say Jasper. I think I'm going to have to say Bo. <laughs> I haven't even like, I think I'm going to be obsessed. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. 
Like, I think it, he could be, like, a top contender. Like, I'm just, like, he has so much in every other book. Yeah. So many hints at his story. I said... I think it could be fun. Shout out to Heather, because I was watching her video the other day of her fall TBR, and she's talking about Bo's book, and she, the, her reaction to it, and, like, talking about how excited she is was, like, me. Like, literally mm -hmm. me. I, like, and I'm when so I read excited. the Chesed Spring series, I was, like, to please, when I read the first one, I was, like, hopefully Bo's book is next, not knowing that girl is the last one coming out. I know. <laughs> After I read the first one, I was, like, hoping for Bo, and it's, like, now we're at the fifth. Uh, yeah, that's literally... Okay. This one might hurt my feelings, but would you rather have to finish Keeping 13 or finish Mile High? Oh, God. Oh, God. This one might hurt your feelings. <laughs> that's what I just... That's what I just... Because I heard the right move is just great, and you just read it. <laughs> so I feel like... you Because you also did enough Mile High, but you also got... Oh, but I think for you, I would, I would read the rest of Binding and Keeping and Saving and the other ones. I Because you read that. Magnolia Parks for me. So I would, I would finish that for you. Well, because Even you don't have to fine. finish Mile High. Because I didn't finish Mile High, and then I just read the right move, and I yeah. loved the right move. Yeah, so, but for you, I think I would just... What, maybe one day I'll try it again. Maybe not Johnny and Shannon. I almost don't <laughs> want to, you to. I almost want you to <laughs> never finish it. <laughs> because I just... I don't think you would like Joey's story either. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. I won't. I won't. I won't read them. Okay. Which is better? Which is the better series? The Inheritance Games or The Naturals? I thought about this after I finished The Naturals, like, really hard. I think The Naturals. Yeah. I agree. I loved The Inheritance Games. It was fun and stuff, but I feel like... I don't know. I enjoyed the, the characters, I think, more yes. in The Naturals. Like, their relationships was fun. I was literally about to say that. That with The Inheritance Games, I felt like it was very fun, but I feel like I didn't really care about the characters that much. Like, it, even yeah. The Love Triangle, I didn't, like, have, like, somebody that was really, really rooting yeah. for. But, like, with The Naturals, I was like, oh, I love all of these characters. I want to know everything about them. I want to know all their backstories. Like, I can't. Yeah. I, I love it. So. It was so good. Last one. Would you rather read only nonfiction for the month or only classics for the month? Oh, God. Um... Oh. I don't know because I never really given classics like a really good try, so I feel like I could get through those. Nonfiction put me right to bed. <laughs> classics put me right to I bed because their I, writing yeah, but, is so old. Like I don't want to say so. Like I could still read a classic, but it's just like so much brain power because the way that they are yeah. written is in such like old. Yeah, but I feel like I'd rather have like classics on my like red shelves yeah and like some non-fiction books i don't really yeah. want those well because most non-fiction books well there's like other like self-help non-fiction books but like most yeah. non-fiction books are like about other people's lives so it's like yeah i feel like there could be good like memoirs and stuff but i just i'm not really interested yeah no in those but those are all the questions all that we have <laughs> that was fun Tell us down below, guys. Uh, I'll put the I'll try to put the questions in the description, and you guys answer them down below if you guys want to. Like, what yeah. your would you rather's are? Because I would like to see them. That was fun. And if you have any other little games for us, I want to do the the poll stories one because someone said that we should have written um, which author wrote us. I thought that was fun. Oh yeah, should we do that? Like with written by authors? Elsie Silver. Yeah. Yeah, we should. We should do, that. do like those polls again. Maybe that'll be, be the next. Maybe that'll be the next end up episode fun thing stay yeah. tuned and and you'll find out next week yeah you get, sorry guys you gotta listen next week to see if we do it yeah because i don't even know if we're gonna do it <laughs> we're gonna end up doing it before the episode just like this <laughs> but thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode of bookmarked with sarah and des we appreciate you guys listening as always if you guys are listening to us then don't forget to leave a five-star review on apple and spotify and then if you guys are subscribed to the youtube channel if you're not remember to subscribe and you guys can see the video format and subscribe like all of that stuff that you guys do on youtube follow all of our socials we have youtube instagram tiktok all of that good stuff so keep up to date with us on there yay that's all and that's all from us thank yeah, you destiny that is all for this outro that is all from have us. the most wonderful thursday yes whatever day you're listening to this whatever day thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday whatever it is we hope you have a great rest of your day we love you thanks bye. for listening bye